This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey everyone, it's Deligracy here, obviously, and welcome to a brand new video. I am so excited right now to showcase the brand new build and buy items in The Sims 4 Seasons. I've been sitting on this footage for a little while now. Two weeks ago, I went to EA Play in the US and I'm very grateful for EA um, for allowing me to go so I could get this footage to share with you guys. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Sims has been a massive part of my life. I have played The Sims since The Sims 1 came out. It got me through high school, quite literally. Uh, whenever I was upset, I would play Sims and my parents would be like, we're so glad you're in your happy place. And it got to the point where it was like when you give crying children at a restaurant an iPad to kind of shut them up. I feel like The Sims was like my parents' way of saying, yeah, here's an iPad, <laughs> go to your happy place. <sighs> Why am I even rambling about this? Basically, The Sims 4 Seasons is a big, massive deal to me and you guys watching. So I want to show you guys every single aspect of it. If you guys want to see Create a Sim, I will link that video in the description description down below so you guys can check that out. I'll be showing every single season and the key points of gameplay in another video so you guys can check that out and I'll also even be doing a speed build so make sure to turn on the notifications on my channel so you can be updated and actually see when I upload because YouTube has been really annoying lately and not showing my videos. So click that bell, subscribe if you haven't already and let me shut up right now because we need to get into this. All right you guys so jumping into build and buy mode uh, you can see now I'm just scrolling through all of the new assets for The Sims 4 Seasons. And there's a lot here, and this is just buy mode, mind you. But I just wanted to pull out one of the main uh, new items straight off the bat to show you guys. This is the weather changing machine. I don't know the official name, but basically this is a machine that is really cool because it is the way you can actually change the weather forecast in your game. So my sim here is winding it up, getting it started, cranking it up to change the conditions from this raining spring weather to something different. So if you have the handiness skill, your sim will be able to do more with this device. Um, they will be able to change the season entirely. Um, right now he's just attempting to change the conditions and look at this little lady here. Isn't she adorable in her like floral hats? <laughs> here the machine goes, but because he doesn't have uh, any levels of handiness, I'm pretty sure it's a fail. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you gotta get that handy enough, handiness skill up first. So let's see how it did. Um, oh no, it didn't work, it went wrong. Damn it, oh well. But anyway, you guys can see how it works here. Now the rain is easing, finally, after four attempts at this, and we have clear skies. So there you go, that's just to showcase one of the main items from this new expansion pack. And let's check out all the build and buy like we usually do. Let's check out some of the new rooms here. So we have several different rooms. From looking at them, you can kind of get the look and feel of this entire pack. It does have that literal seasonal looking kind of items which kind of have leaves and wood and trees and floral patterns. But at the same time, we also have a lot of festive items for holiday celebrations. And there's a big focus on gardening too. So we do have a few like beautiful gardening decorations. Um, so there's some really nice pre-made rooms here. I'm gonna pop down one of the rooms so we can check it out. But like I said, there's a massive focus on gardening. I think the whole gardening aspect of the game has actually been given a bit of an overhaul Whole. One of the things that is going to allow this overhaul to happen is the fact that we do have a new build tool, uh, which is glass roofs. So if we go to roofs over here to roof patterns, we do have six different kinds of glass roofs, which will be updated for all players in the base game. So you will not have to have the Sims, the Sims 4 Seasons, I don't believe, to be able to access these. So that is awesome. And it means that you can make greenhouses in the game. Now, the greenhouses are also going to protect your plants from the weather. There are new plants in the expansion, so you are going to want to keep some of them inside if you want them to be harvestable all year round. And also, if it's snowing outside, you don't want your plants to lose all of their leaves. So that is why greenhouses are an awesome addition. And not to mention like the clear glass, like roof type right now is gonna be so cool in like ultra modern builds. I just, I cannot wait. We don't actually have any new trees or um, shrubbery, which at first I thought was really surprising, but then I found out that they had to like 
redo every single tree and bush in the game so they like all the existing packs would be compatible with seasons so that makes sense like they have to redo them um, for all of the different times of seasons during the year so that makes sense um, so all of your trees like they will lose their leaves they will go red in autumn if they are the types of trees that go red uh, they will get snow on them uh, so yeah that is pretty cool now in terms of wallpaper we do have just three different wallpapers um, this kind of wood do you guys call this cladding? I don't, I don't know. I always watch grand designs. They're like the cladding. And I'm like, I've never, I, I don't know what cladding is, but maybe that's it. And this stone wall, which is actually my favorite. I do want more stone walls in the game. So I was very happy to see this. And it definitely is going to be nice, like making cozy stone rooms, like around the fireplace for Christmas time. And oh, cannot wait. We also have some new fencing here, which I thought was really nice. It's traditional. Oh my God, I'm speaking so fast. I'm like getting like blah, blah, blah in my mouth. Calm down, Deli. <sighs> Way too excited right now. This fencing is very nice. <laughs> very nice. I particularly like it in white, actually. I think that looks pretty cool. It does have a new gate to go with it, and the gate does go with the wallpaper pretty nicely. So that comes in an array of different colors. We have some new columns as well that matches it perfectly. So you can like go all out and build your first house with the new wallpaper, the new fencing um there are even brand new stairs and new like stone foundation paint which is really cool and in the game uh when you are playing you will be able to decorate your houses and you will see your neighbors houses decorated on the holidays so they will have like twinkle lights coming down from your rooftops along your fences um, or bunting and it's really, really pretty. So if you guys want to check that out, I will link in the description down below um, my gameplay and you guys can see that. But look at those new stairs. I love those steps. I think they look really, really pretty and they're different to what we already have in the game, you know, so I appreciate that. Here are some different windows. Again, very traditional super nice i was really excited to quickly build with these so i'll release a build video as well i did like a 20 minute build i was like i have to get a build done right now like i did not have much time but i was like i need a build because <laughs> these windows are so nice and i love the black um the black trimming on the windows contrasting with the white i think that looks really really good and actually just with all the wood colors i like that there's like that that black trimming around the glass i think that looks really really nice uh and warm and inviting and yeah oh my gosh you guys how pretty is this i just love new content in the game it gets me so excited uh so comment down below what you think of this do you agree are you happy are you excited do you let me know. Also, you can see right there, there is a mud puddle on the ground. Uh, I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the texture of that mud puddle. Uh, <laughs> when, when I was looking at it, I was like, what is that? Um, but yeah, it is mud. You can splash around in it as well during gameplay. It's not a build or buy item though. But it's kind of cool. And I also did place down like a chimney type of thing. So that is pretty much what we have for the build part of the game. And let's move on to buy. This bed is so nice we have oh my gosh we have three new beds and each of them i lost it because i always feel like we need more beds in the sims 4 so i was very happy with these and look at it this couch bed is so cute i mean to me it looks like a couch bed i don't even know if it is but it's so nice and this one it is so plush it's like a high-end bed this one looks like like a hotel bed i feel like that's the kind of bed you get at a hotel but i am living for it i love it we also have these more like modern looking chairs we definitely can see the seasonal graphics on the cushions we have the leaves we have the honeycomb we have the branches but thankfully we also have some plate swatches too so i think they look really nice i quite like the purple actually that's really really nice uh here's some other chairs these ones are a little um they kind of look mid-century to me, but hey, you might disagree. I think they look pretty nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And love these chairs. I actually want dining chairs like this at my own table in like a light wood. So I really liked those. And again, they're going with that like branches theme, uh, seasonal theme. So that is nice aesthetically. These chairs, I the tall chair, I'm personally not a fan of. They're just so big. I was like, what? I don't get it. But 
I'm sure a lot of you guys will like those chairs, just not for me. Just, just my personal opinion. It's my opinion! Have you guys seen that uh, gif from The Real Housewives of Orange County? And it's, I think it's Tamara, if you guys watch it. And she's like, it's my opinion! That's like me in every single YouTube video. I swear. We also have the matching couches there. They're nice, very nice. And we also have um, some more corner sofas, like to go with the diagonal walls if you like that. I feel like we've got quite a few of these now and I don't actually use them that often. So I'm glad we got plenty of couches with this. And I think if you guys don't have the other packs where they have those like corner sofas, that's gonna be really nice for you guys. But me personally, when I've already got all the packs, I'm more interested in the other couches than, than that one. Um, still really good though. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not gonna play, like complain for the more content we have. I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, I think corner sofas and also those like outdoor tables and kitty craft tables. I don't need more of those in my game. So those, those are the three things I'm like, okay, we have enough of those. Um, why am I focusing on like the one negative thing right now? I don't know. Let's freak out about the dining table because that dining table is beautiful. Love it. And I also love this table with the cloth over it. It's very festive. It looks like that table that your grandparents get out at Christmas time um, and put the festive cloth on it. That's the same one every year and it's been washed so many times. It's faded. I love that, that, we, ha that we have that. And we also have some really like modern items which I love because I love a modern aesthetic. So that glass hallway table is everything. These uh, these side tables are a little bit classy with the black um, decorative ornamental kind of thing on the side there. Love that like wooden block. I don't even know what that is. I think it's like a coffee table, but I think if you want to use the move objects on sheet, gorgeous. <gasps> this coffee table, is it not everything? Finally. We have a basically square. I know it's like a curved square, but we have like a modern plain one. Yes. And we have this like block of wood coffee table. I love it with the industrial like metal uh, ribbon around it. I know it's not ribbon, but you know what I mean? Oh, so exciting. I need this in my game right now. <sighs> the wait is too long. The wait is real, you guys. I need, a, I need a drink of kombucha. There's also a new desk, which is really cool. I love this hallway kind of shelf with the jacket slung onto it and the scarf. If you like throw that into your more wintry builds, it's gonna like really bring the game to life and make your homes look legit. Sorry if you guys are busting for the toilet because um, that would not have helped you just then. This is really nice as well. I love this another like hallway or maybe dining room table. It's got some plates and glasses in it. Super nice. I love those items. And then we have a beautiful like concrete modern sink. One thing I am really sad not to see in this pack is we don't have new counters. When I saw that sink, I was like, yes, new counters, because I assumed there'd be counters to go with it. There's not. I'm devastated. We also don't need more toilets. We got another toilet. Not complaining that there's more variety, but I would have preferred counters than a toilet. We need, we really need more counters, like really plain modern counters would be cool. Beautiful shower. Absolutely love the fact we have that black divided glass again. So nice. Black hardware, beautiful white, um, like small, what do you call it? It's like subway tiles. Would have liked to see that as a, a wallpaper actually. So we could have put the shower on the wallpaper. That would have been cool. Bathtub is gorgeous. This is a scout board. Now this is really cool. This is um, a, a new career actually for kids. The first ever career for kids in the games. I think it also is for teens and it means that they can become scouts. They get a cute little uniform. They collect badges and do good in your world. So that is really nice. And that's the object you need to interact with to, to do stuff. There's also gifts that I'm pulling out. We also have the floristry table, a brand new skill. You can make beautiful floral arrangements like my one in the corner here. The, there's one thing I'm bad at and it's flower arrangements. Uh, that bucket there is for like water balloon fights. We have a skating rink. We have an ice skating rink. We actually have several of them in case you want to make like an ice rink. What you can. Um, and also I did pull out some boxes um, that are really cool. They're like old attic boxes. And they're the boxes that all of the Christmas decorations are in. So if you want to decorate your home or your Christmas tree, you totally can. And yeah, I love that object. Also a sprinkler. Sprinkler is cool. 
Your Sims are going to interact with it as well. They're going to run around and, and get wet in the sprinkler. And this is really cool. This is another interactive object. This right here is Patchy the Straw Man. I think it's called Patchy. He is cool. He is so cool, you guys. I didn't catch it on camera, but if you get your relationship up with him, he will actually like walk around and help your Sim with their gardening. Crazy. I know. And these are so cute. They're little like pools that your toddlers can swim in. Your big adult sims can lay in them. Oh, there's a beekeeping house. I mean, how good is this, you guys? Like, this is so much good stuff. This swing set. Oh my gosh. So cute. So many beautiful swatches. Look at the clouds. Look at the clouds. Oh. Excuse me, but that is absolutely adorable. And I love this other kitty pool where it's got like the palm trees and we'll we'll check out the animations in a second in live mode, but there's like little mist, mist stuff that comes out of them. Here's some decorative items. Like I said, there is a lot of decor items in here. Oh my gosh, my legs going to sleep. Oh, wow, that feels weird. Uh, but yeah, basically there's a like beautiful like little pieces of autumn leaves and Christmas stuff that you kind of piece together and you can lay them out on the ground or on tables. Um, so that's really nice for decorating your homes. And here we are just getting um, the wall up because we have, we've got a few things to stick on the walls, okay? So here is a wreath for springtime, I guess. It's got some beautiful flowers on it. Very floral looking. Um, a few more wall items. I personally don't really use these like wall vases that often in my builds just because I'm not like, I don't use them in real life, so I'm not that into them. But hey, other players are. I'm not the only player in the world, so you guys will probably love them. There's this little tree in like a honeycomb looking little hexagonal thing. Uh, pretty cool. And I love this like garden what do you call this? Like greenhouse storage maybe that you can put your plants in. I think that looks really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of leafy things coming out there. And I like that there's lots of different colors. So you might want to change the swatch um, depending on the time of year. This is cool too. This is awesome. Love this. So you can really like make an epic greenhouse and not only have the plants that you tend to and grow, but you can have these decorative plants as well and really make it look like the serious greenhouse that you want it to be. This is nice too. I love this little like plant stand. There's a lot of these around at the moment in Australia in like homeware stores. Uh, I actually bought one for next to my bed and now I have a plant that I sleep with at night. It's, it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Now you guys all know that I sleep with a plant at night. I mean, not in my bed, like next to it. It, you know, it, it helps the air. It helps the air, okay? And there's pumpkins too. I mean, in fall, I think some some countries have pumpkins that lie around. I don't know. I didn't really see that in Australia that often, but it looks pretty. We also have a decorated Christmas tree. It comes in rainbow. I've never seen a rainbow Christmas tree before and it looks amazing. Uh, but there's also the Christmas tree that hasn't been decorated yet. And I think that looks kind of cool. Freezer bunnies here. They are absolutely adorable graphics. Um, yeah, lots of decals. I always have the same feedback about these decals. I don't like the furry pixelated edges. I don't understand why I'm like the only person who has an issue with it. I've never heard anyone else complain, but I do complain. Uh, I've seen some of you guys uh, in the comments agree, but I don't understand why they're so pixelated on the sides. They're adorable. I just don't understand why. Um, that's, that's just a little thing that I don't like amongst the many, many things I do like right now, like this painting. Oh, I love the green one. So pretty, obviously very seasonal going with that theme. So nice. And I love how the canvases are separated and like together they piece together that beautiful arrangement. And it does make me think that I kind of wish there were separate canvases. Uh, that would have been kind of cool. Nice mirror there. Uh, you know. Gotta, gotta love, gotta love those mirrors that you get in the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I gotta, that, that's like making conversation about the weather. Like, oh, how's that weather? Hmm, mm, gotta love those mirrors. You're oh, strange, strange unit deliquacy sometimes. These curtains are so nice. I actually really love the orange and yellow ones. I think they have really nice pops of color. Super sweet. Um, obviously they come in different widths and sizes and they're, 
They have different patterns on them, going with the seasons theme again. And they go with all of these new windows, so that is nice to have matching curtains to go with them. And then we also have these like decorative hangings for the festive season that probably are made to go around door frames. But there's several of those. And like I said, actually I don't know if I mentioned this, but I feel like there is a ton of build and buy items. But there's also a ton of festival items in build and buy, which honestly, I'm not going to use those festive items heaps in my gameplay. Like, yes, I love decorating the house for Christmas time and maybe like um, if I want to do like a Thanksgiving thing with my Sims, even though I'm Australian and we don't do that in Australia, um, maybe I'll do it anyway for fun. But I feel like there's almost an unnecessary amount of decorative objects that can't really be used throughout the year at all times. So my feedback would be less of the decorative items that only are appropriate for one celebration. Cause it's like, use them once. Do you get what I mean? Um, cause there is an abundance of decorative items. And whilst they are really, really nice, I don't think I'll use them that much. They look really nice though. And yeah, you can see, I'm not even going to pull them all out. There is so much of them. There's bunting, there's lights. Uh, there is so much here. And there's also some trophies to be won as well. I'm not actually sure how you win them, but there are trophies there. There are new lights and I'm searching for something. I think I was looking for like an archway. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty, the front door? That is cute. That is cute. I'm like going on about, uh, there's too many decorations, but then at the same time, I'm like, oh my God, they look so nice. <laughs> this is a nice like rustic awning. It's cool. I like it. I like the green like rust on there. I think that looks pretty cool. We've got a few pumpkins around the place. If you want to give the pumpkin a different expression, you can do that. <laughs> the surprise one is so cute, like so adorable. Um, some soldiers. There's also some reindeers I'm going to pull out in a second. They are so adorable. I actually really love that design. That's something I would have in my own house because traditional Christmas decorations scare me. I don't really like Christmas decorations that much. Like that soldier thing scares me. I would never have that in my house, but the reindeers that are like alternative Christmas decorations, I really like. So I would, I would definitely have that. Here's another pole. Now this pole isn't a column per se. It is, I think, to hold up bunting and festive lights. This is an umbrella that's pretty nice. It's different to the other ones that we already have in game, so that is cool. Again, a lot of the same colors that we've been seeing in the game. We have that autumnal orange. We have the bright sunny yellow. Um, there's definitely like a repeat of colors that we have in every pack because that's what unifies it and brings it together and harmonizes it. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the colors. I think they look sick, sick. Uh, this, I think that board you might be able to get like the weather forecast from when your sims look at it. <gasps> look at these cards! Aren't the cards so cute? Like Valentine, Valentine's Day cards. I think they call it Love Day in the game. Super duper cute birthday cards, Christmas cards, adorable. I don't know what this is. Do you guys have those in your house where it's like vegetables in a weird horn basket on the floor? What is that? I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a cultural thing I don't understand, but hey, I mean, it's cool. I dig it. I just don't know what it is. And oh, maybe you like store your onions and things in it in like the pantry, because if they're low to the ground, they won't go bad as quickly. I don't know, I don't know. Please enlighten me in the comments. Also that umbrella, um, that little umbrella stash, is where you can actually pick the color of your umbrellas for your sims to carry around, which is really cute. That is not a picnic basket you can actively use. There are, not, there are no picnics in the sims for yet. That's something I'd love to see though in the future. Um, but there is a de decor item. Some nice rugs here, super nice. Uh, I like this one that looks like a horizon kind of. I think that's really cool. But my favorite rug is surprisingly the next one I'm going to show you, which is like an irregular shape. It kind of looks like an avocado if you're looking at it in the bottom right hand um, space in the screen. This one, it looks like an avocado kind of, <laughs> but it comes in a lot of different colors. I just think it's really cool. Um, I mean, who said a rug needs to be rectangular, circular or square? Like. It's fantastic. It's like my new favorite thing. <laughs> we have another holiday fireplace. Honestly, this looks pretty much like the one we already have um, in the holiday pack. 
Maybe it's a little different, but it, it looks like the same to me. And then more or less the same. Here's some of that decorative bunting I was telling you guys about. Cute, nice. Uh, I feel like it doesn't have to be celebratory, those ones. You could put it in kids' rooms as just like cute little decor, like paper things. We also have wreaths for uh, spring. Oh my God, how cool are these flowers? I love these flowers. They look really cool. I feel like they would be great for like a florist decoration. Um, I thought that was pretty nice. But yeah, lots of wreaths, Christmas wreaths, uh, summer wreaths, Valentine's Day wreaths, Love Day wreaths, whatever you want to call it. And some banners in Simlish there. Um, yeah, there's just so much decor stuff. I just, I feel like there's, there's too much. There's too much. I can't use it all, I don't think. I mean, there's never, there's never too much content in The Sims 4, but that is a lot of festive stuff. There are also some cool, like, ceiling lanterns, which are a little bit different to the wall things. Another craft table for kids. I think this is a, maybe a different craft table. They might make different things to what we already have. Otherwise, if it's the same as the other craft tables, we have a lot of those already. Um, so hopefully they can actually do something different on them. I didn't test that out. Love these lanterns with the bows. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I feel like they'd really suit Brindleton Bay as well, like the cats and dogs pack. There is a lump of coal as well on the desk that I just put out. But yes, your sims can gift each other a lump of coal, which is hilarious. Some gorgeous candles you can put um, with the other decor objects here. That looks really, really nice. I mean, imagine that on your fire fireplace mantelpiece. Love these candles too. That's like a really nice item. I think I'll use that a lot. Uh, new lamps, super nice lamps. Um, we have like more candles here. We also have a cute little snowman item that I'm about to pull out. And you can build your own snowman in the snow when it is snowing and you can have snowball fights as well um, but if you don't want to build them or if you want a snowman in summer you can totally have that snowman a few more lamps that lamp definitely has the look and feel of like a branch coming up and holding the lamp uh, these items look very similar to ones we already have in the game maybe they're recolored or slightly different that is like a Christmas light fixture fixture how many of you guys have like Christmas light fixtures that you put up at Christmas time? Cause that is seriously impressive. Love these lights. That is, that is a nice light y'all. Love it. What is that? Oh, that's a wall light. That's cool. I like that. That's like an industrial uh, light. Oh my gosh. There is so much stuff in here. Like this is nuts. There is not a shortage of items in this pack, I don't think. I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't complain about the amount of items in this pack. Let me know what you guys think, but I feel like this is a lot. And uh, here's some of those lanterns I was telling you about. They're very festive looking. I feel like there's a lantern there for every season. And it definitely gives me vibes from City Living, uh, from those festivals. So it goes really nicely with those. A brand new letterbox. This letterbox is super adorable. It has some really, really cute patterns on it. You can even change your letter letterbox depending on the season. Like, that. <laughs> who has the time to change their letterbox? My Sims do, and I love it. And here is some. This bookshelf is super nice. And of course, those holes that are left blank, you can put in whatever you like in them, I'm sure. So you can put a vase in there. Maybe you can use the floristry station to put like your own vase in there. This is like a nice hallway cabinet. It matches the bedside tables. Oh, actually that might be a drawer. Actually, I think that's like a drawer station. And of course the beds we already went through. I think that is it, you guys. So let's jump into some interaction with those objects that I mentioned. Uh, you can actually use with your Sims and gain things from your gameplay with them. So here we have the swing. Uh, you can push someone on the swing. You can ask to be pushed or you can just swing by yourself if you want to. Um, so we're just gonna get a couple of Sims to check out, the, check out the swing set. Looks like Eliza Pancakes has come to visit us. We've got some of the new clothes there um, from this pack as well. So if you guys wanna check out the creator sim video, let me know and let me know if you've watched to the end of this video and you watch the creator sim video as well. I am so impressed with you if you did, let me know. Uh, and look at this, how cute is this animation? Like, ah, oh, yes, so cute. I assume, yeah, your kids can be pushed on these swings. I don't think I tested that, but I assume. I mean, it's not gonna be like an adult only swing set, uh, like a woohoo swing. I don't think it's that kind of swing. 
Now here is the balloon area, so you can have a water fight with balloons. There they are. Oh my gosh, I'm getting uh, <laughs> toddler ball pit flashbacks. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. The graphics are okay with this. Um, oh gosh, so funny. Look at that cute little greenhouse, looks so good. And that was a swing and a miss. So these guys uh, will, Unlike The Sims 3, where you actually had to be like in the, I think it was like a snow fight object or a water balloon object, your Sims will be able to throw balloons anywhere with several, like however many Sims you want, I think, or maybe up to five Sims or something. I don't know, but it, it's more dynamic, which is really cool. Uh, and then, like I said, if you want to make friends with Patchy the straw man, you can. And he will maybe even give you vegetables or seeds for you to grow. And if you really become very good friends with Patchy the straw man, if that's his name, he will get up and at, at around midday, I think he will care for your, for your garden. So that is cool. Uh, let's see if we can get this little toddler into this gorgeous little pool. Oh my gosh, isn't he adorable and his little nappy, you guys. Oh, stop it. So adorable with that little rubber ducky. Oh, it's too much, this animation. I absolutely love it. And of course the adult Sim is going to be a good parent or um, Kara, they are going to sit with the toddler while they are in the toddler pool and make sure they're nice and safe and comfortable. So I like that, we approve of that. And here's the sprinkler, it's on. I don't know if the sprinkler will water your plants. Uh, I'm not sure if it's that detailed, but your Sim can certainly play in the sprinkler and hopefully it'll cool them down and maybe they'll get a mood lit if they play around. Uh, but right now it's, why is he in his winter wear? It's like, Oh, it's, oh no, it's a sunny autumn day, so I guess he can be. That's okay. Um, and here's our bee hut, and like I said, it is really, really detailed. The bees are the bees you can make a relationship with. I mean, not like woohoo with your bees, but you can be friends with your bees. You can then put your swarm of bees in your inventory, and if they like you, if they like your sim, your bees will actually do things for your sim. So for instance, they can go woo another sim and make your sim like flirty with with your active sim, which is really cool. You can get them to give a gift to another sim in a special like bee box, so that is cool. And then of course we do have the florist floristry station here, which is one of my favorites. I think it's a brand new skill. And depending on what flowers and level you are, you can make different floristry arrangements. You can give them as gifts. You can choose um, what bars they sit in. And if you actually put like a death flower in one of these bad boys, if you give it to a sim, the scent of the death flower might age them up. And if it's an elder, it might even kill your elder sim. So that's pretty bad. Um, so yeah, you can definitely curse uh, your flower arrangements if you want to, depending on what flowers you will put in there. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? Our, our bees are, are happy. Look at our little toddler playing in the sprinkler in his little rain outfit with the bees buzzing around. I mean, this is so cool. This is so awesome. And whilst I've given some like more critical feedback, overall, I think this is like really, really good. Let me know in the comments down below, of course, what you think. I'm just gonna speed this up ahead a little bit and show you guys what the finished, um, arrangement looks like and you can actually sell these for a lot of money like one of them went for fifteen hundred dollars with a sim maxed out on the skills so you can make a pretty penny i mean right now that's only really worth 10 simoleons so we have a long long way to go uh and let's just take a picture of our arrangement because hashtag proud <laughs> so yeah pretty nice um and then you have the flower arranging skill just there that you can see uh, and we can, do I want to sell it? Oh, you saw then there was an option to give a scent. So if we had a plant in our inventory, we could have scented it with that. And let's have a chat to our scarecrow here, discuss the birds. He should give a little like head wobble back. And as you get to know him, there'll be more movement, more options uh, to interact with. And he will, he will become friends with you. And you can even romance him and add him to your household. So cool. And you want, will unlock his outfit after a little while. So I love that. I love those little surprise goofy characters. I think they're really cool. 
Anyway, you guys, let me know what you thought of this video and do let me know if you are excited for seasons. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it does help me out. And as always, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon. Soo-soo!